<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, this article should bring a massive smile to your face. Now, let me go ahead and lay the groundwork before I get into this particular article. When a woman shows you who she truly is, believe her. Every single man that has been in a relationship, be it short term, long term, or even a marriage, will one day be faced with an ultimate choice. Now, that woman is going to reveal her true nature. And gentlemen, you're going to have to make a choice. It's called nut up or shut up, or as I like to call it, sack up or back up. Now understand, if you decide to nut the hell up, that will be the end of said relationship the majority of the time. However, the way us men have been conditioned, particularly a lot of us older men, we would literally make excuses for a woman's bad behavior. Why? Because we had a scarcity mindset. That's just social conditioning. However, a lot of men nowadays are starting to break that. The numbers are small, but they're increasing every day. Now, this particular article was published on the 31st of January. Men are revealing when they realized they needed to break up with their girlfriends slash wives. <laughs> oh, this is an article of men who decided to nut the hell up. Now, I looked at a lot of these and yeah, they are very good reasons. Now, when we talk about women, when they talk about why their relationship ended, they have five disarming buzzwords that they will break out at minimum one. However, some women will go for the gusto and throw all five of them in. The, are you ready for these five words? One, toxic. Two, narcissist. Three, abusive. Four, controlling. And five, insecure. Every single woman, when asked about the end of their relationship, will throw one of those five buzzwords out. Why? Because they're meant to disarm you and stop you from asking deeper questions. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. All of those words really should say, you know what? He didn't allow me to do everything that I wanted to do and he wasn't gonna pay for everything that I wanted him to buy. So therefore, he wasn't a good slave to me. And make no mistakes about it, gentlemen, whenever a woman describes the perfect man for her, he is nothing more than a slave. But anyway, let's get back to this article. As many of us have probably realized in life, breakups can be complicated and relationships can be heartbreaking. While that's not always the case, of course, you slash Luke Gum 69 reminded the internet of this when they asked men, quote unquote, what made you realize your girlfriend or wife isn't the one for you? Many men responded, 
So here are some of the re responses, excuse me, that really stood out. Gentlemen, it is a laundry list. So I'm gonna only give you 10. However, there are at minimum four times as many responses. Number one, she invited me over to cook for me and instead ambushed me with eight of her friends to interrogate my feelings in the relationship. Man, that is fucked up. Number two, when she asked for a dude's number at a party while I left for a minute, I caught her in the act and she still lied about it. Number three, I started to realize I was happier when she wasn't around. <laughs> now that is just a basic, brutal answer. <laughs> hey, fellas, you also can initiate the CGA classic soundbite. I'm not happy. Number four, I dated a girl for two years and nothing I ever did was good enough for her. She became very controlling and did not want me to hang out with my friends unless she was there. And every man who's been in a long-term relationship knows exactly what that behavior is called, isolation. I finally got tired of the negativity and broke it off. Turned out all of my family and friends hated her with a passion and was so happy when it ended. Gentlemen, also, listen to your people. If they say she's not a good woman, go ahead and let her go. Trust and believe, women do this all the time. Number five, she treated wait staff, cashiers, and all other customer service people like shit. It was embarrassing how rude and condescending she could be. We didn't last long afterwards. That right there is a great way to measure whether or not a woman is compatible with you, how she treats others. Number six, she faked a pregnancy scare just to quote unquote, test me. There's not even a lot that needs to be said about that one. Number seven, when she came home from work, the sound of the front door opening made me feel annoyance instead of happiness. I realized that I'd felt this way for months and it never dawned on me. We broke up a few weeks later. Number eight, and this is particularly insidious. She cooked all of my food without spices to make me think I had Charlie 19 so I wouldn't go anywhere. Wow, that sounds like she was literally batshit crazy. Number nine, and this is particular for all of my military brothers out there who've gotten what we call the Dear John letter. When I got divorce papers in the mail while I was living in a blown out building in Samoa, Iraq, guarding two bridges so the 3rd Infantry Division could cross into Baghdad, she was pregnant with another man's kid. We were together for four years. Yeah, dear John letters really hurt. And these women know, especially if you're in a hot zone, they know that that's going to mentally destroy you. Number 10, she wasn't able to compromise or apologize. I spent years dwelling on the thought that I was responsible for the decline of our relationship. But I realized the things that were happening to me were early signs of emotional abuse. I still try to forgive 
and move on by keeping what happened in the past. But often when I talk to her, I get reminded of the things that were happening and could have happened for a lifetime. Oh yeah, classic case of gaslighting. Remember gents, women are masters of psychological and emotional abuse. Why? Because they know that the laws on the books are all in regards to physical abuse. Now, let's go back and talk about the domestic violation rates. We know that the overwhelming majority of non-reciprocal domestic violence is perpetrated by who? Women. However, there are no laws on the books that deal with that. There's no law that says a woman cannot emasculate her man in public. There's not a single law against gaslighting, emotional manipulation, nothing. However, once they finally push us to that point and we put hands on them, oh, we become Satan himself. But anyway, anyway, that was just 10 of the responses that were put to the public. However, gentlemen, you must read the rest of them. Oh my God, there are some doozies. When did you realize that it was time to break up with your own partner. Which one of these responses resonated with you? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Oh, this is going to be golden. This is going to be a good lit comment section. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I can't wait to read the comments on this one. Now we know when it comes to women, they all have their prepackaged responses. Never. Well, let me go ahead and reel that back. The overwhelming majority of women will never say, you know what? I was fucked up. And my boyfriend or husband, he actually made a good choice in leaving me. Oh, they'll never say that. Why? Because that requires two things that the overwhelming majority of women refuse to practice. Self-awareness, accountability. Oh yeah, it was his fault. I was a perfect angel. I didn't do anything wrong. Really? Really? Okay. Keep on believing that. Why? Because they know if they actually do take accountability, they have to change their behaviors. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of women have been told they're perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, and they will gaslight you into believing that you're the one that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I've said this numerous times in the past when it came to me and the meat sack, when we went to marriage counseling, and she literally sat in front of that marriage counselor, who was a raging feminist, by the way, and said that 85% of the problems in our marriage were directly my fault. And I was so fucked up in the head that I actually believed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what long-term relationships do to us men. We honestly sit back and try to shoulder every single burden. We think everything is our fault and we naturally try to fix it to our own detriment instead of saying, you know what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Bitch, you fucked up. Oh, hell no. It's time to walk out that damn door. But yeah, gentlemen. Yes. Read the rest of this article. Let me know what you guys think. What brought you to that point to where you decided to nut the fuck up? Leave it in the comment section. And you ladies out there, and I say that term very 
very sarcastically. The power will eventually go out. Feminism and all of your pre-made excuses as to why your relationships failed will go out right along with it because trust and believe more men are starting to nut the hell up and walk the hell away from what we know are truly toxic relationships because of all of the mental abuse that we suffer. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am